My name is Margo Wittenberg, and I live at 35626 North Meander Way in Carefree. And I have lived here since 1977. A lot of water has gone under the bridge since then, and there's been a lot of changes, especially on the national and international level, of which we have very little direct input. Unfortunately, the vast majority of these changes have not been positive. Our national government keeps getting worse with every passing election, if that's possible. <coughs> to the point today, we are on the verge of national bankruptcy and financial collapse. Unless things are done now to stop and turn the spending tax and overregulation around, we are doomed to become a banana republic and a fascist police state that has already made us debt slaves to the private central banking system called the Fed. Now we may not be able to stop what happens in Washington, D.C., but we sure don't have to imitate them here on the local level, where it appears we are trying to spend ourselves into prosperity without the benefit of the Fed's printing press to print unconstitutional Federal Reserve notes. See Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution. There is no mention of Federal Reserve notes, which are by definition a promise to pay in more Federal Reserve notes. To bring in the Fed requires a constitutional amendment of which there was none. Case in point, none of the proposed items here tonight have much justification or a good business return, except the possible exception of the maintenance of the roads, highways, and the library. The rest are nothing more than someone's idea of trying to stimulate the local economy's business. It's called subsidy with taxpayers' money. This is not a function of government. The proposed water splash pad system screams of total insanity. The cost of installation, upkeep, insurance, and other things too long to list here. My name is Russell Wittenberg, and my home is at 35626 North Meander Way. And like my wife Margo just <coughs> said, we were both very instrumental in the founding of the town of Carefree back in 1984. And uh, we both designed the town seal, as you said, that you're looking at tonight. <laughs> Inasmuch as the ground rules don't allow me to ask the council direct questions, I would like to ask some rhetorical questions to get my point across quickly and metaphorically speaking. Number one, who was the genius or geniuses who dreamed up this set of ideas of just how to bring prosperity to Carefree? Number two, is anyone really aware of the country's and the world's financial condition that is not being reported on the mainstream media, honestly, or by either main political party? Number three, the debt picture is so huge that it defies human comprehension with over $680 trillion of, that, that's a conservative estimate, of derivatives alone hanging over the world's financial market like the sword of Democles that could go at any minute. Not to mention the U.S. federal online debt soon to go past $17 trillion with nothing but more increased spending coming down the rails. The United States federal offline debt obligations are more than $60 trillion. The state, city, county, local, and personal debt are in the trillions, and you guys want to add to this insanity? Give me a break. Is anyone aware of the possibilities that there could be a World War III very close to coming down the road at us? Evidently, you don't seem to understand that. Why are we talking about contingency plans to a possible martial law like it just happened in Boston, and or defending our citizens against predatory government regulations spending our country into bankruptcy, and stop adding to the spending insanity. Number seven, would you invest your own money into any of these proposals? And if not, why are you trying to stick the taxpayers of Carefree with something you would not invest in yourself? Do you run your own personal finances the way you run this town and the way you're trying to run us into more debt? Eight, is, is carefree part of the much discredited Federal Reserve System? If not, then just how do you propose to pay for all this insanity by keep dishing money out of our reserves? Ladies and gentlemen of carefree, this proposal is so bad, 
it is an embarrassment that I have to come down here and oppose it because it sounds like something that comes out of Washington, D.C. every single day. And if we can't stop this kind of insanity here on a local level, just how in God's name do we expect to stop this at even higher levels? Thank you very much. I hope you defeat this insane spending programs. The Hitchens, 6125 East Little Hope Place. <coughs> in response to what was just said, I totally respect what the Wittenbergs have done for Carefree, and I realize they have put in a lot of effort, but apparently nobody has told them that the money that you are including in the bottom line for improvements to the town center would not be spent unless the money materializes. It's just there as a possibility. It is not something that you are committed to spend. Thank you.